Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Three Processes of Heat Transfer Thermodynamics. So in thermodynamics, there's essentially three primary methods in which heat can be transferred from one object to another. The first is known as conduction, and conduction is a process that involves two materials that are in contact with each other. So material one and material two are in contact with each other and they each have different temperatures. And because they're touching, this heat will be transferred directly from one object to another, depending on uh, what the relative temperatures are. So in this case, we have atoms that are and molecules that are transferring their kinetic energy between uh, each of the uh, other molecules and atoms that are neighboring. And this is one of the basic, one of the most basic uh, methods in which heat is transferred because this entire system uh, wants to reach equilibrium at some time later. And to do that, we need to transfer all the temperature between the particles. So this is one method in which heat is transferred in thermodynamics. So a second method is convection. So convection operates under a similar premise. However, here we have some material, like a slab of material. And we have a fluid, for example, like water, that is made up of many water molecules. And the way heat is transferred be, due to a difference in temperatures is you'll have each of these molecules bump up against the surface and make contact uh, momentarily. And so temperature, the heat that is contained in the kinetic energy of the particles that make up this material will be transferred uh, into the molecules of the fluid that is rushing past this material. And this will serve to increase the kinetic energy of the particles if the average temperature of the material is higher than that of the liquid. Or if it's the other case, then the kinetic energy of the molecules will be imparted onto the surface in which uh, the fluid makes contact with the material. So this process is known as mass transfer, and it's often exploited in a lot of engineering uh, to, to transfer energy and heat in uh, a way to facilitate whatever apparatus uh, one is using, such as a power plant, to cool things down. Finally, a third method to transfer heat in thermodynamics is known as radiation. And radiation is a physical process by which some hot or thermal material uh, emits light such as IR, which is infrared or thermal light, thermal heat, or sometimes x-rays, for example. And another object will absorb that energy because light has an energy equivalent to its momentum times the speed of light. Since the mass is non-existent in the case of the photon, one can think of the photon as a quanta or packet of energy. And this energy can be directly absorbed by another material uh, via absorption, thus increasing the total thermal energy of the second object. So radiation is a third method for transferring heat in thermodynamics. And these are the basic three. And there's a lot of equations involved and uh, many different physical systems that involve multiple methods of transferring heat. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Three Processes of Heat Transfer in Thermodynamics. Thank you.